Hey, what's up guys? JC here, and today let's talk about how things you can do to get rid of vibrations in your gyro or gyrometer. This has always been a problem, but recently with the release of the Race Flight Flight Controller, there's been an influx of guys talking about this problem because, uh, I guess let me explain. You have some flight controllers that use the MPU-6000 and then some flight controllers that use the MPU-6050, where the Race Flight Revolt uses a what they say a super secret gyro. I don't know exactly which one it is. I could probably find it if I wanted to. I just really don't care. But the point I'm trying to make is, uh, say you take an MPU 6000, that is going to be more forgiving as far as vibrations as whatever the gyro is on this flight controller. Where there has been so many people having so many problems with vibrations in the revolt that their multi rotor is actually unflyable even if trying to filter it out as much as you can uh, but the other part of that is the more filtering you do the less performance you're going to get well why would you want to use this flight controller well you got to pay to play uh, this gyro is actually capable of doing 32k sinks where other gyros can't so i guess you have to ask yourself uh, is 8k in beta flight fine or do you want 32k I can't answer that for you uh, I feel indifferent but anyway I've been talking long enough let's jump right into this uh, point is this will apply to all flight controllers uh, the less vibrations you have the better how do you find vibrations I'm not covering that in this video uh, I'll probably cover that in like a PID tuning video or a black box or something like that so the very most common way of getting rid of vibrations are from using o-rings. You would want to place the o-ring underneath the flight controller as well as on top and whenever you screw these nuts down you don't want to over tighten them. If you over tighten them that kind of defeats the purpose uh, and you will still get those vibrations. So I just have the nuts just tight enough to where they won't back off on their own. You can see here that they, they're obviously not squished down. Once you start getting that squished look to them you know you have them too tight. Uh, next tip is going to be don't use metal bolts because metal bolts obviously uh, will send vibrations much easier than plastic standoffs like this. Uh, so plastic, yeah, they do send some vibration but it's not nearly as bad as a metal bolt. Uh, before we move on, where can you get these O-rings from? Well, race, the Race Flight website actually sells them. Uh, as you see here and it looks like it's for five bucks you can get a pack of 25 now the specific ones that I'm using right here uh, I actually got off of Amazon I got a pack of 50 for seven dollars and thirty cents all these links I'll leave for you in the description below so you don't have to find it I haven't tried the race flight o-rings but uh, the ones I'm using work just fine I haven't had any problems with them I'm sure you can find these on Banggood or eBay as well. Uh, if I find any, I'll throw the links in the d description. All right, moving on. Uh, another thing you can do is actually, well, let me explain. With the Race Flight Revolt, I guess they knew this gyro would receive so much, well, it is so sensitive, they expected that it would have problems with vibrations. That is why they actually placed this in the dead center of the flight controller. Uh, because theoretically the closer it is to the center, uh, the center receives less vibrations if you were you know, comparing it to a gyro that's on the edge of the board or anywhere near these bolts or the corners because the corners are going to receive more vibrations. But obviously this isn't enough because there are so many guys still having problems with this even with o-rings. So the uh, Race Flight website, they also sell some of these adapters so the point of these adapters are you can turn your flight controller at a 45 degree angle and mount it that way and that is supposed to I guess somehow remove more vibrations um, I mean I can kind of understand the logic but at the same time not really it doesn't really make too much sense to me now if this were made out of uh, like something soft instead of plastic then that would make a lot of sense Here's their description if you feel like reading it. I've never tried this. I can't tell you if it works or not. Uh, all I can say is uh, if they made it out of anything other than uh, acrylic, then 
it would probably help more. So, oh, you can go to their website and check it out if you want. I guess moving on to the next tip, some guys are actually 3D printing uh, mounts for their flight controller out of, I don't know much about 3D printing, I don't do my own 3D printing, I have a friend of mine that does it for me, uh, and he could probably tell you what this is made out of. This is not a flight controller mount, he actually made a case for a run cam too, but it's made out of something that, I mean it's not hard at all, it's very flexible, it never breaks, and uh, whenever they 3D print these they make the walls hollow. I know you can't see but I mean if you squish it I can see it. Well actually it's kind of broken right there. So see it's hollow and very squishy. So some guys are making mounts for their flight controllers out of this stuff and making the walls hollow and that seems to be helping. And I at least I think this is my last tip. Um, some guys I've never done this but some guys are actually Say we have our standoffs on the uh, frame, and you stick this through the hole, but the thing is, uh, your flight controller is actually going to be pretty snug right on top of your standoffs, bolts, whatever they are. So some guys are actually taking a Dremel tool and drilling this hole to be a little bit wider. That way, the standoff is not contacting the flight controller itself. And then they are using O-rings on top of that, and then screwing the nut down and centering this to where none of the corners are actually touching the standoff. So just picture O-rings underneath on top and the flight controller is not touching you know this way either. So there's absolutely no contact. That actually does seem like a pretty good idea to me. Um, I just personally haven't done it because I just use O-rings and it works for me. But if you do use O-rings and you make a, a custom mount and mount it at a 45 degree angle and uh, everything else that I mentioned, then I guess drilling these holes out would be your last option. And that pretty much does it guys. So uh, like I said, this applies to all flight controllers, not just the Revolt, uh, but especially the Revolt. So if you are having any uh, vibration problems in your gyros, then maybe one of these fixes will help you out. Well, that does it, so thanks for watching. If you could, give me a like if you enjoyed this. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you again soon.